Late last week, Republican Representative Lauren Boebert received a letter from the Federal Elections Commission, the FEC, letting her know that she has apparently, or at least her campaign has, been breaking the law. Specifically, the FEC says that you have taken in nearly 20 donations well over the legal limit, totaling $30,000. So you illegally have taken $30,000 from donors, 20 of whom donated more than $2,900, which of course, again, legal limit. So as per usual, Lauren Boebert has found herself once again, facing questions about what the hell is going on with your campaign finances. And let's not forget, by the way, that last we checked and I haven't seen anything. I've been looking to see if there's been any resolution to the previous investigation into her use of campaign funds, but so far no resolution to that either. Uh, because remember she billed her campaign for reimbursement of $22,000 in mileage alone, which of course means that she would have driven the circumference of the earth one and a half times while campaigning in her district. So that's, that's a lot of miles. Now, maybe she did drive all that. Maybe she didn't. Her district is of course about 7,000 miles, 49,000 square miles. So yeah, there's a lot of miles there, but did you really drive each and every one of them? I don't know. I've got my doubts, but either way, you still have to answer for the illegal campaign contributions that you took in. Here's what gets me about this story. One, of course, the fact that nobody seems to care. Second is I've been doing this long enough to where I remember back in the day where people actually went to jail for accepting campaign donations over the legal limit, right? Working with ring of fire back in the early days, we did a ton of stories on that. We did stories on the people who donated over the legal limit and went to jail for it. Hell, we've known people <laughs> that went to jail for this because they raised a bunch of money, uh, you know, violated campaign laws because they raised, you know, more than they were legally allowed to give. And they went to jail. People go to jail or at least used to go to prison for this kind of thing that she is now, the FEC is not even saying, by the way, we think you did this. The FEC is telling her you did this. Like there, there, there is no, Hey, we think you need to take a look. The FEC says you did this and, and we see that you did this. There is no question about it. You broke campaign finance laws. Cool. Where's the damn handcuffs? That's my question. Where are they? You, you still struggling to get them out of your little belt there? She broke the law. <laughs> and again, back in the day, 12, 15 years ago, people went to jail for this crap. Of course, that was pre Citizens United, pre McCutcheon. So I guess things have changed. I guess campaign finance laws no longer matter. So if that's going to be the case, why even have the limits? You know, you don't get to just claim oopsie daisies and give the money back and oh, I won't do it again. That's like committing another crime. Say you go in and rob the bank and then you get busted and you're like, all right, I'll give the money back. Now, now I don't have to be in trouble. I gave them the money back. Everything's cool. Everything's fine. No, you still did the thing that's against the law. That's what drives me insane about this story. And of course, so many other things with Lauren Boebert. When are we going to get a resolution to the other investigation? When are we going to get a real investigation into this? How about we look at the fact that two weeks before she, uh, uh, what was it? Um, uh, where is it? Less than two weeks before being elected, Bobert paid off nearly $20,000 in state tax liens on her restaurant. Now, where did that money come from? Where did Lauren Bobert suddenly get 20 grand while running for office and taking donations from people? Where'd she get 20 grand to pay off the liens the state had put against her restaurant because they couldn't pay their bills? That's a thing I didn't even know that had happened, by the way. Where's that investigation, huh? What about the fact she didn't uh, disclose her husband's money? What about all those little shell companies that they, they were sending money to, to basically disguise where the husband was getting the money? Y'all, this is actually a very serious story here. 
More needs to be done about Lauren Boebert's campaign finances, because from the looks of it, in my opinion, it looks like she's just been using this as a massive money laundering scheme from the beginning. That's my personal opinion based on what I have seen through the different companies they've been routing stuff to, uh, you know, the guy that was allegedly living in the restaurant that was being paid by the campaign. Uh, 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 none of this smells right. And I think we all deserve to know what in the hell is going on with her campaign finances. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.